this is so well to clean them like this. The cranberry hearts. <laughs> My name is Carmen Richter and I work for Soto First Nations. I, I often say like the Native Seed Bank, it's restoring the land but it's also helping restore people and growing people. We feel like we are investing in our future by doing it. Both Soto and West Moberly First Nations own a native plant nursery. Um, the benefits to us of planting native plants, plants that are originally from here, uh, means when you do that, you return the function of the land. And so if this area was an uh, area where moose eat, and you return the function of the moose food there, you return the moose, and you return the function of us relying on the moose for our way of life. That's what the caribou eat all winter long. And it's a lot about food security for us, is getting the, the environment back at a sustainable way so we can keep harvesting off the land. This is our Twin Sisters Native Plant Nursery. So another important thing for us is when we go to a well site, we don't always know what the function of the land was before the agriculture that came in, or the industry. And being younger, we weren't there when that happened. So we have to rely on our elders to tell us what the baseline was. So when they tell us that, that's the reclamation goal. Restoring an old growth forest is a lot different than putting a crop cover and, and spraying it. The, the prices can be different. <laughs> Where all these oil and well gas sites are, um, my mother-in-law has gro grown up there and as a child she hunted off the land. What would make me really, really excited and happy is for her to go with my daughter and say, they practice those things again. So in my lifetime, I might see that when I'm a bit older, is them going out and doing those kind of activities together. That would bring a lot of joy. That'd be the meaning of my work. That'd be amazing. <laughs>